Hello and welcome to Infinity. Duplicating layers and inverting them is uh, an easy thing to do and is used all over the place. So let's have a quick look at it. So let's start off with this picture here. We've got the layer here. If I want to duplicate that layer, I'll just go to Layer and Duplicate. Notice also here that it says Control J. Um, it's worth remembering Control J because you do it so often, it's, uh, it's a useful shortcut. So just click here for the moment. I've got two layers in here. Uh, it seems like it's not much use because you're looking sort of like down onto these. And this one, and uh, this one are the same. So you're actually only seeing the top one. And even if I reduce the opacity of the top one, you still see exactly the same thing. So what's the use of this? Well, uh, one way of this um, is that you, if you're going to do changes to the top one, you've always got the bottom one to go back to. It's sort of like a backup and also you can compare it with what you've done. Another thing is you can actually do things with this. So if I go to the blend modes here and I go down to something like overlay, this is actually, overlay is a kind of handy one, soft light as, as well. And these other around here are the similar, but just say overlay for now. And what I've done, I've kind of turned up the contrast and, you know, perked this up a little bit. You know, before, after. So a quick overlay can be a useful thing just for a quick sort of like tone things up. You can also turn down the the opacity of the top layer if it's a little bit too much. What about inverting? If I invert this layer, I can go to layer, invert, and also use control I. And what well, we got it's on the overlay mode, mode at the moment, haven't we? Just put it back to normal. There we go. So <clears throat> there you can see what you get with an invert. And again, inverts, inversions are often used in sort of curious ways for special effects. So yeah, we can, can scan down here and look at the effects we get with it. So overlay there, you kind of get a bit of a sort of muting effect. One I'm going to look at today, just out of interest, is colour. Um, nothing much seems to happen here, but if we play with the opacity, and this is the th trick often, you're going to turn down that top layer so you're getting more towards the bottom layer. And when you get to 50%, hey look, it's a black and white picture. And if you go below, it's getting more and more towards this, because this sort of blending here effectively um, sort of muting out. So if you go above 50% up here, you get this sort of slight inversion where you get a magenta instead of green, which can have a lot sort of infrared, infrared look. So if you want to do an infrared type picture, this is a really quick way of doing it. And if you go below, if you want a muted picture, just turn down the colours. That's another way of doing it. So dead easy. Another thing that's really important or very useful in, in um, duplicating is if we put in a control layer, an adjustment layer, so I put in say curves and I come up here and I do a little bit of a, a change to it say. If I want to exaggerate that effect I can play with the curves again but another thing I can do if I do a control J and it's got two layers so it's effectively applied the same curve twice. So that's a really quick way of uh, enhancing a picture, just doubling up. A particularly useful way of doing this, a time to do this, is when you're doing sharpening. If I go to live filters here, then up to, say, the unsharp mask, and uh, bring this one up here, and I'm going to zoom into a bit of this picture here, and let's, oops, let's have a look at this here. You can see there's a, you can see the edges here. Now, if I start playing around with the radius here, if I turn this up, there's a point at which it starts getting blah, a bit yucky. So I want to keep this kind of low. But now, if I want to increase that, hit Control J, and I've doubled that sharpening effect without having any nasty halos or over brightening of things. So that's a good way of doing a, a more, a stronger sharpen without it going all yucky. Anyway, that's enough for now. I hope you found that interesting and thank you very much for watching.